Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. As you can see up here I have again uh, not left the place or anything. It, I'm making another another tutorial in succession um, to the last one. And like last one I said we'd make a VIP door. We're gonna make a VIP door. So some of you now we're not gonna make a VIP door with a VIP t-shirt um, actually, yeah, we will. Why not, right? Um, but we're also going to make it work with just different names of people you want. Now, I know Roblox uses Game Passes now. Uh, you can put Game Passes into your game. But, th those, to use a Game Pass is a bit more advanced than to use a t-shirt or a username. So, we're not going to cover that just yet because we're still at the very beginning of Roblox Lua. You guys might think, uh, we're, we're kind of in the 20s now. Don't you think we should be getting further? No. Roblox Lua is way too good, way too good to be far ahead by now. So, we're going to go down here. And we're just going to copy this. And we're actually going to make this our VIP room here. I know it's an empty VIP room and it's a total VIP scam. But we're going to do it. Now you guys should remember how to build some. Hopefully you do. But I'm just going to show you guys as they build this anyway. And now I'm going to go over here. Recolor this. And we'll make it blue just so that it stands out and we know which one is the VIP door. So we're actually going to rename this, oh, bad, that's not the name. We're going to rename it VIP, because you can change that property, and that changes the name of it. And we're going to go to Insert, Object, remember, we have VIP highlighted. So we're inserting something into that when we have it highlighted and selected, and click Insert. And now we're going to find Script script is right here we're going to click okay but I want you guys to watch that VIP at the same time okay and as you can see the script goes directly into the brick not into the workspace it's very handy and very useful if you have a, a very large place with a lot of bricks and models and other things we're going to go into our script now this VIP door will not be done this tutorial this VIP door will probably take this tutorial next tutorial and maybe a third tutorial because VIP doors have a lot of stuff in this tutorial we're going to go over something called events events are huh, how can I really explain this events are when something happens so say Huh. Let, uh, we'll just use what we're going to use today. Okay, so whenever s two bricks touch each other, Lua sends an event to the brick, each brick involved in hitting each other, and it sends an event notifier, I guess we can call it, a trigger, trigger, an event trigger, telling each brick, hey, run any script or you, you, there's a touch you, you got hit so the bricks are going to know oh okay so I need to go through all my scripts and every script having to do with me and uh, hit of an untouched event and tell them hey run your script well it's not actually that difficult but it isn't easy either so we're going to go back here, like I said, and we're going to write brick equals script dot parent, and now we're going to write brick dot untouched colon connect function hit. Now there's several ways uh, we could do this. I'm going to show you what might seem the messier way but it's also the easier way if you ask me um, this is one way to do it 
Another way would be, we'll cut this out real quick. Uh, actually, we'll cut that out as well. Another way would be to write a function up here. We'll call it on hit, hit, and you can you can call that from down here and just say connect on hit, and that would send a parameter to the function, the hit function or the hit parameter, which the hit parameter is really just the other brick involved the brick that hit your brick or vice versa okay that's one way you can do it but I prefer the quicker less typing way which means you put everything of your function inside these parentheses here and you put function hit and you make sure your end has that parenthesis at the end as well and now you can put function here so we're going to make our function for right now just say print touched okay so we're going to do, go to place one tools test and play solo I don't know exactly where our play solo guy will spawn right now hopefully it's fairly close um, go to here okay here I am yeah it's pretty close so we'll walk over here and I again do not have output here so you guys can watch me put output in its place come on there we go and also view toolbars command anyway now that that's working I will walk into this brick Maybe it won't work as now that that wasn't open at first. Yeah, so it changes. Because it wasn't showing anything there. Brick that untouch. Yeah, everything should work. Tools test. Play solo again. Sorry, guys. That Windows 8 glitch messed me up in a lot of ways. Uh, it's also one of the reasons why I wasn't able to make a tutorial uh, for a week or two. A uh, week and a half ish. Anyway, so I'll walk over here. And if we look down here at our output, we can see there's actually an error. Untouched is. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, there is a problem here actually, which we'll fix very quickly. We'll go to script, and it's actually not on touch, it's just touched. I'm sorry about that, guys. Again, disable, enable. Uh, now we'll go back over here. And now when we walk into this, we'll see. Let me show you guys as I walk into this. You guys can see that it's saying touched several times right that's good click no go to our VIP script and we'll change this to touched as well that way we don't have the same error so that is one event and I, I guess I explained events as best as I can for now we'll probably go over them again as we come across new events um but there that's I guess the tutorial guys so thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video and I'll catch you guys later